X. Yeah, you like that one. <laughs> Eight-year-old Dylan Salinas plays with puzzles, his tablet, and colors, but he's also nonverbal. He's been diagnosed with autism, uh, also intellectual disability, ID. His mother, Michaela Salinas, says he's been in therapy since he was two years old, and while he responds well, he excels the most when his therapy involves animals. Just in the short time that he's had horse therapy, we've seen more progress than we've seen in most therapies. He will notice an animal before he notices a human being. That's why now she's applying to get Dylan a service dog to help with his autism and behavior in general. Diamond. He bites on his finger. He hits his cheek. That dog will help know what to do for Dylan in that situation. And he sits here. But the family has hit a roadblock. Yeah, so that's what he does. A service dog for Dylan will cost nearly $60,000 through a nonprofit organization called Four Paws for Ability, Salinas has found generous funding. The organization will pay $43,000. The family just has to come up with the rest. Your part is $17,000. They train multiple dogs specific tailored to the child and then one dog will make it through. Dog trainers at Four Paws for Ability will review video of Dylan doing everyday tasks. Those videos will determine how and what they train the service dog to do. You have to send in extensive video of like Dylan here at home, how he acts at home, how he acts like at HEB, how he acts at um, different restaurants we go. So far, the family has raised a little over $4,000, but they're still a long way off for meeting their goal. There is no deadline to raise the money, but Selena says the sooner they can raise the money, the sooner Dylan's dog can begin training. Brenda Matuti, Action 10 News. All right, so if you would like to help the family, just check out our website, kztv10.com.